purpose of this video is to show you how to change temperatures on the Honeywell four stage controller. The four stage controller, it's very important to have all the stage in proper sequence. The stage one, or the first relay stage, is always going to be the lowest set point. To go ahead and change the program temperature, first hit menu, then hit the right arrow key for program. At this point you'll see a series of modules and relays. The only ones that are important for us are the relays. Relay 1 will scroll down by hitting the bottom arrow key. There you'll see the arrow to the right whereupon you'll hit the right arrow. At that point a screen setup will come up for that particular relay. The only one of the different settings here on the relays that we'll be changing will be the set point. To change the set point, we'll go to the right button. Now at this point, let's make the assumption that we wanted to change this temperature setting from 5 to 10 degrees. Again, this would be the lower of the four set points that we'd have. So what we'll do is we'll come up to the arrow key and we'll bring this up to 10 degrees. Okay. After at 10 degrees, we come and we hit the right key, as you'll see here, shown on the relay down below. Now that takes us back to the set point. At that location, what we do is we go to the very bottom and exit. And we'd go to the next relay. But one thing I want to show real quickly, and this is the same for all four set points, is the differential. The differential between the set points is always at a one degree set point, as you'll see here. So if there is a sequencing problem, they should all four relays should read a one degree differential at all times. Now we'll go back to that setting. As you can see, we're up here on relay number one. We're going to come down here to exit. Exit. Boom. Now this will actually kick us right over to number two relay, which will repeat the same process. We'll hit set point. It'll pop us over. Hit set point again. And now we're at six. And remember, we set the first one at ten. So the second one has to be set at eleven. We bring this up to eleven. Now at this point, we go ahead and hit the right arrow key again and go the whole way down to exit. Now we hit relay number three. Now number three, we hit. We hit it again for set point. Now relay number three has to be set at 12. Again, set point one was 10, set point 11, set two was 11, and set point three will be number 12 then. 12. Then Again, all the way down to exit, and as you can see, we're on relay three, exit, and then we'll go to relay four. Now, relay four set point will be one degree above that, again, at 13 degrees. So on this particular installation, or in this particular change, set point one was 10, set point two was 11, set point three was 12, and set point four is 13. And as we change temperatures for the ice sheet temperature, all four set points must be changed in exactly the same way. Now, as you go through all four relays, you come down to exit, go to key, and then exit again, and you're back at your main screen. Up on the top here, you can see relays one through four. Depending on how many relays they're set, will indicate if you have relays one, two, three, or four set points. They should always be sequential. They should always be one, two, three, four. Sometimes it may say one or two, or we may say one, two, and three, but it should never say one, three, and four, for example, missing number two, which messes up the sequence. They've always got to operate in sequence. So if we wanted to change our temperature now again to 15 degrees, set point one would be set at 15, set point two at 16, set point three at 17, and set point four at 18. And that's how the sequence would be. And that's all you have to do to set temperature. You hit menu, go to program, Again, you hit the right key, and then you come down to the relays and you start changing your set points again. And that's the process for changing the ice sheet temperature, and it's always got to be followed in this way. Now the normal operating temperatures after the ice sheet is built will be anywhere from typically 15 to as high as 21 degrees, and every facility will vary.